Hi there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of January 2nd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person, clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. Okay, so we have your energy here with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A Knight of Cups is often about following your heart, uh, going after true love. Um, it's possible that you're dealing with another water sign here. We also have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So both of these cards are about the self, my own happiness, my own joy with the Nine of Cups, uh, feeling satisfied. It's a card about being single. Nine of Pentacles is a very Virgo kind of a card. Uh, the Nine of Cups is very Pisces. This is, I have everything that I need with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm adding value to my life, working on my goals. You might be single right now, or the focus is on you and not so much a relationship. And we've got the Seven of Cups here. Seven of Cups is choosing options or opportunities. You may have more than one option when it comes to love. This can also mean like you're fantasizing about love or visioning, uh, maybe calling some things in for yourself here. That Knight of Cups is very much like I'm journeying towards love here. So I like the vibe. Uh, let's see what's headed towards you. So we've got the Hierophant, uh, major for Taurus. Hierophant is like an adulting card. Um, I'm calling in things that are like structurally in my life. Um, it's religion, politics, education, marriage, family. So getting some resources for yourself, maybe calling in a serious connection for yourself here. Very serious energy. King of Wands here, uh, a very Leo card, also Aries, also Sagittarius. You could have some fire in your chart. This could represent someone coming towards you, someone being very passionate about you, very attracted. Haha. <laughs> We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, earlier you showed up with the Nine of Pentacles. This is closing out a cycle and Basically, having a long-term relationship, particularly with the Hierophant showing up, sometimes people view that as a marriage card or a family card. I would say the Ten of Pentacles is also about family. Um, it's about building a legacy with someone, a relationship that could last a lifetime. Um, you may have a very serious connection coming in, if not even like a full-blown marriage here. So be aware of that. And we've got the sun. Hold on. So more Leo energy here with the sun. It's also about happiness and joy, um, contentment. It's a card of the summertime. It's a bit of an LGBTQ card given the rainbow showing up here. Um, I would say that you have some maybe clarity coming or some happiness coming your way. Well... We've got the Two of Cups. You have a long-term relationship coming in. This King of Wands, I think, is looking to settle down here. Um, Two of Cups is a shared partnership, uh, someone who gets you like no one else has. I'm not sure if this is a new person or this is a former person, but you definitely have someone coming in here. And we've got the Three of Pentacles. So... This is the Zodiac Tarot. I'm going to be using the Radiant Wise Tarot to clarify. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to pull cards for how this person feels about you, as well as something that they're thinking here. I'm also going to do a little preview for 2023. Um, you have a commitment here. A committed partnership. The sun could also mean like someone realizing... 
that they want to be with you. They're getting some clarity here. See, there's your nine of pentacles here. And then the four of pentacles in reverse. Nine of pentacles, you may have been on your own or you could be with someone who is independent and they've been resistant to being in a long-term connection here. That four of pentacles is sometimes like a the miser card. I'm holding back. I'm not going to be open up to you. This is someone giving to you. They're giving you time, energy, effort. They value you. They value this connection. They want to see it grow. I've got the nine of wands. Um, that's the wounded warrior. Like, I'm not giving up on this connection. I'm not giving up on you. King of Cups is definitely your energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um... It's using your intuition here. It's being very open, emotionally available. You could be dealing with another water sign. You just have a long-term relationship coming in here. So King of Cups could be you. It could be a person coming in for you. One or both of you could have fire and water elsewhere in your chart. So what is up with this connection? What's up with this relationship? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands here. Eight of Wands is messages, it's movement, it's momentum. This could be coming in very fast for you. This could be a relationship that starts, like it's very intense. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's very intense, it starts off really fast. Uh, the two of you are very invested in one another. Lots of fire, which is like passion, excitement. It's someone pursuing you, being excited about this connection. Okay. And we've got the Queen of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So this is a, a match here. This is a long-term commitment. Um, this is like finding your... Yeah, finding your match, finding your person. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. All right, let's do a card for what the feelings are as well as, um, you know, like what, what's on their mind here. All right, let's do how this person feels about you or will feel about you as well as something that they're thinking and then a little card for the future. Okay, well, we've got the Queen of Pentacles showing up here, as well as the Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. There could be an Earth sign here, Earth in the chart. This is also someone who knows your worth and knows your value, knows that your this relationship is valuable. That Two of Wands is wanting to make some long-term decisions, like four years from now, six years from now. They're looking towards the future here. All right. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. We will be together again. For some of you, this is someone coming back around. Doesn't have to be. It could also mean that you have a soul tie to this person. Whoa, I love you. That's pretty intense. Uh, this could be a relationship that starts relatively fast and like there could be a commitment that comes in here relatively fast as well. Just being near you is intoxicating. That The wands are often about passion or excitement. This is someone pretty taken with you. Um, let's do a preview. So we're doing the Queen of the Moon Oracle. What is something that you need to know about 2023? Ooh, full moon. We have power. I would pay attention to the next full moon that's coming in. Okay, so we do have a full moon this week. It's on Friday. It is the wolf moon. So I would pay attention to that. Full moon, power. Step into your true power, shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things to yourself, like a relationship. 
Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to larger possibilities. Go outside on a clear night and look up. Hopefully you'll see the stars twinkling. <sighs> All right. And then there she is, the big full moon, unmistakable in her glory and power. She moves the earth itself. Generation after generation, we have stood barefoot under the same wound, wishing, setting intentions, dancing, and drawing her graceful power. I would pay attention to the new moon or the full moon, excuse me, that's coming up. You may want to set some intentions on it. Okay, so the opposite sign of Capricorn, which is the season that we're in, is Cancer, another water sign. Um, Queen of Cups that popped up is a Cancer energy. It's a very emotional full moon because it's happening in a water sign, particularly Cancer because it rules the moon. I would pay attention to the full moon. I would set intentions if I were you. Keep in mind that this is Mercury retrograde and communication tends to go wonky. Um, travel goes wonky. Technology goes wonky. And you may hear from someone in the past. You may or may not want that. That's up to you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Blessed be. If you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown, and we're going to do a couple cards for the new year. All right. Blessed be.